do without any changes at all is this Greek letter phi represents a quantity of magnetism. Okay, the time t represents the change in that quantity of magnetism, whether I'm turning the, the, the current up or I'm turning the current down or the magnets moving or whatever. And that gives me what's called the electromotive force E. So now everybody un here understands Faraday's law. It's that simple. So this is how electrodynamics and electromagnetism were created was out of this simple relationship. If I have a quantity of magnetism and I vary it with respect to time, it gives me something appears, an electromotive force. Now this electromotive force then can be taken and applied to another situation and then we can start to compound this stuff out. Now it turns out there's a pair of these equations in electricity because electricity is working in two dimensions. So we, we already know about magnetism. We know also electricity has to consist of, of what's called the dielectric or electrostatic field. So now we have two quantities. We not just have the weight quantity and the single process, but we have a pair of these things. Now if I take and use the Greek letter uh, psi to represent the electrostatic field. And I vary that with respect to time and give the, uh, the rate change the letter I. Now not only do we have the electromotive force, but we have the current. So if I take a quantity of electricity, which I'll represent by the lower letter uh, phi, it consists of two parts. 